Stairwise? Spirit spirit wise. Wise. Oh, spirit. Uh -huh. wise. Also stairwise. Oh, did you steal my fucking thunder? I need to shoot. Okay. Uh, your obstacle is going to be two, and it okay. will be an open hole. Two? And last we left intrepid heroes. Apparently a circle takes a goddamn month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and and under uh, soul skeletons. Not dust. I mean, it's dust. Really soul dust. dust. Skeletons. Soul dust. dust. Soul dust. Soul dust. Mm. Okay, so let's recap. We're here on behalf of death. So we're from wherever death is, going to wherever we need to go. So, where is inside a magical construct, which we've already established? Yes. Primordial magic, apparently. Yeah. The very magic that's on magic. Mm -hmm. So, where is here? Um, and this isn't Destiny's house. No, clearly not. It would be louder. There'd be more tea. There'd be more tea, there'd be I more swearers. Yeah, well, I don't know what comes Instead of moving over, maybe we're moving through. Something. Like this is be through. We haven't got to the other side. But I don't know where the other side is. I'm sorry, Skeleton. Can you listen to me at all? This <laughs> is probably just to one that's. You just turn a bone, you're like, do hey, you buddy. speak? You, you see a hand of dust come down onto the side of the face of the one that you, you're looking at and push it to the side, okay. and it steps forward, and it has what appears to be kind of like a, a noble surcoat and trousers made out of the dust over his decrepit flesh. His empty eye sockets meeting yours. Mm. I can understand you. Mm. Are you then the Lord here? Or mm -hmm. reading? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> also, no honey, no one. <laughs> There's two fucking personalities crammed into one. No one understands that shit. You just suck the dick of that shit. Or I suck your dick. Who knows? We both suck each other's dicks. Probably. Yeah. That makes sense. We, we made out with our dicks. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a, a death demon somewhere in the Right, middle. so in order reading, what are you going for? What level is intent at? Is intent? <laughs> yeah. Intent, intent is, this. is usually... Where did it just go? Oh, there it is. Uh, obstacle 4. Uh, so you would be rolling with plus two dice at obstacle two. Yeah, uh, first two. Not right. Let's see. Talk about getting mugged. <laughs> first one of the season! <laughs> yeah, sure. You were adopted! <laughs> <laughs> By Catholics! <laughs> How dare you! I'm sorry, your mother's a lovely woman. Actually, uh, my mother's four siblings told her she was adopted, and she went crying to Grandma, her mom, and Grandma proceeded to not be able to find her birth certificate. <laughs> so had to order a new one to convince her she wasn't. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry about she you says, and your sister. Give me your attention, school. What? what? Alright, since you got oh. that high over, I will also give you, because uh, you do have spirit-wise, yes. that is a sanctified dead where the rest of them uh, are restless dead. Okay. Oh my god, I have an idea! I'm not doing it. <laughs> god, I um, don't want to. Don't, don't tell me it's that. Please. His intent is uh, uh, one of, of curiosity. Um, it has been so long since anything of interest has happened here, and this is one of the dead who has not succumbed to the hunger, has yet to succumb to the degradation of the place, and become one of the ravenous dead. Is this out of line? I imagine it's a bunch of balls. 
<laughs> God damn it. No, it kind of looks like that. Yeah, I do. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Cool, we're tourists. What the fuck are we? Um, he, his appearance is very much the same as theirs. Like, he's, he looks like desecrated flesh hanging off of bones. Um, the only main difference is instead of being appearing like he's has tattered rags around him, uh, he has tattered nobility regalia. Fucker? <laughs> yeah, well, love the fucking bird now. <laughs> So uh, it was moist. Moist. <laughs> I already said soggy, it was right in the middle. That one happens to be uh, sanctified. That oh, one. How no. rude. So, good sir, what might we call you? Or evil sir, I, I'm not. Judging. No. Strange terms. Also, be careful, he does unequal things to sanctify. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I mean, I've literally had some brats of fan to throw up his <laughs> I don't even know where you got that fan. I don't care, but it's worthwhile now. <laughs> Why do I even bother asking you questions? I molded the darkness and souls into a fan. Are we surprised? No. No, no one is really surprised. But see, when you say that you molded the darkness and souls, I'm assuming you meant a phallus into the back of your fillet. Ah, uh, something, what can you call me? That is a good question. It has been quite some time since I was requiring a term of reference. My name will do. I don't even care if it's not yours. Something identifiable. Shall we name you? Sure. Higher. That's an odd name. I don't think I'll actually like it. I shall have St. Pryor here name. Oh, a saint! Motherfucker! <laughs> I can't give him a name that could be spoken. But in the shadows of a name he has given, I might find something useful. Do they have a permission from you to actually give me a name? Sure, give me a name. At the oh. moment, I do not have And the player. Doing a is his name. And the A what? A motherfucker? A mestis? Say it right! You had a T in there, right? No, no. it's not! E M E R S E S. Immersus. Immersus. Oh. Alright. Rolls it over in his head. Alright, I like it. I can go by that. Until I forget it, at least. That is the worst time that happens. Not very many cunning linguists down here. Jeez. Why are, well, the living here? Living? Lords of Dust 
reside elsewhere. I was sent down to f investigate what three living beings were doing in the catacombs of the House of Dust. wise in the arts of the circles and geomancy. Uh, 
You do notice that the ravenous dead are avoiding the entrance to the stairs and the stairway itself just as much as they are the circle. Uh, side to side 
as what you see as a small room, like an antechamber, with doors leading to other antechambers sitting open. And you see them standing in the antechamber with you. Speak up. What lords? Oh. No. No. Really? Yeah. Remersis grins and just goes, no. navigating the house of dust can be tricky. You know it takes you where you think you're going. There's a reason I described the destination instead of giving you directions. Can I just follow where I think, uh, where I guess uh, I planned the courtroom to be to see if that leads me back to them? You can. You can try. I'll try. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So you walk through the antechambers. Uh, the group sees Prince walking through the circular room, and then at a certain point, uh, he reaches down to what looks like it would be like he's opening a door, even though there's nothing there for you. You walk through the door, you see him walk through the wall yep. of the stone room. You yep. go through a few more antechambers and end up coming in through the last door, the double doors to the tribunal, um, seeing them just inside the door. <laughs> he comes back through the door you initially came in. Hello again. You did not turn around, by the way, or loop. <laughs> you basically went in a path that went to the side and then continued on. See, they and still ended up where they were. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> you now see the tribunal room as Immersus described it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. What happens if I expect to see? Ooh. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? Right. Yeah. Here first. This is obvious. Do you want to go expect to see a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> you Unpredictable. <laughs> you know, by the time we get there, you probably don't get anything. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you've never tried to turn the mechanical off, have you? Uh, technically, it would be a stranger to you, wouldn't it? <laughs> Really? Really? <laughs> I can't blame you for the effort, but... <laughs> Lord of Dusts right uh, now, stir. Yes. You look stern? They stir. They, they stir. stir. Okay. Like, they finally move. Uh, they have this kind of jerky, sudden, like, motion where they only move a few centimeters at a time and then begin to, like, crack their bones as they move their joints. Well, this person not real good. Yes. Let me know when you are ready. Uh, Aminius. Yeah. Uh, em Emersus, I'm sorry, I truncated what came out of my head. <laughs> Emersus steps forward and goes, Aminius of Heaven, Albrecht Hithering of Heaven, and Master Sorcerer. A prince of heaven, gray to rot, and the saint Pyre. And Amersus steps off. To you, he joins the panel of judges. To so everybody else, he just steps off to the side. And he takes a seat on one of the uh, examination slots. Morgies! Um, he takes a seat on J. Random chair in the tribunal, as well for you, just kind of chair off to the side. Um, <laughs> it's the same exact spot for each of you, just what he's sitting on changes, like, you both see a different chair. Mm -hmm. 
And the right. lords of dust continue to kind of crack a little bit, and then they all simultaneously, in unison, turn their heads and focus on the group. In the ancient language, you're talking, I don't call someone a goat. <laughs> Great lords of dust, we four emissaries of heaven come on the earth. Death, they all speak in unison, their voices reverberating as though through hollow bones. Does not rule here. I mean, if I fight back his first response, of, yes, idiots, that's why we're fucking emissaries. <laughs> Death has given up his influence here. Death has expended considerable effort to send four individuals from his realm to reestablish contact with the place that he has lost, through no fault of his own. That would not be here. Then perhaps his weakness is made manifest. Why has he sent you through the house of dust? Where are you to go? The lost humanity. Humanity, the realm of Earth. Yes. Those who have then that is the answer I sought. That's like I was like, I know what he's thinking. <laughs> yep. Death's weakness is not manifest. You must travel the house of dust to connect from heaven to earth. It is the only remaining connection. Sounds like you need a plumber. Good thing I brought a snake. <laughs> Stop Ooh. sticking your dick in this! <laughs> God damn it, Amenius! <laughs> Solve everything. It solves everything. No, no, it doesn't. Stop it. Solve you. <laughs> <laughs> While I can't <laughs> disagree with that, I'm going to anyway. Add <laughs> 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 damage. <laughs> Ooh, higher damage. Yeah, I like Ooh. that. Mm -hmm. We cannot give guidance to the living. Can you give permission? What permissions may you need? Great lords of this domain, we ask for passage. That is not for us to give. <laughs> there may or may not be a subject of why am I wasting my time? <laughs> they return the subtext. Why are you wasting our time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Sorry. <laughs> you mentioned this is the last connection. connection to the realm of Earth. What? That the realm of Earth has to heaven. Where we came from. Lost in the So it's not true for the opposite. From heaven to the realm of Earth. This is also true. There is only one realm connecting heaven and earth in either direction, and that is this house of dust. This house of dust, the original, the first underworld, so to say, the pillars in which creation and realms of material existence and exterior realms alike reside. The catacombs holding up the foundations of what you would call realities. Do not misunderstand the words. It is not our place to tear it or draw it. Simply, an adherence to protocols for which we are ill prepared. We 
We found your servants. Hello. Whatever that relationship is. And we sought to make our presence known. To ask whatever permissions were necessary. And to find whatever passage needed to be found. We respect your lordship. Very well. We can recognize your aspects. You have expressed permissions to travel the house of dust, as is the right of any that were once living or living still. <laughs> Binding your way from this realm and to that of Earth will be difficult. The house of dust is often alien to a living mind. That brief hesitation between me and Ace and Fire, where they both clearly think the same thing, but neither of them acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the point where we both have the same manners for like, it, too, uh, and then we just, like... Oh, fuck. No, we didn't see that. It's fine. Whoopsie! <laughs> Over to Meryl's eyes. What? I... Yeah. What? No. I... What? 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 Where from? It's fine! It tastes the raspberries. Actually, sound appears to be perfectly honest. I do hope you brought sustenance as you will find none here in the House of Dust. I mean, I've got all three of y'all, so I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fabulous. Doesn't matter. I'll oh, chew on you anyway. He's <laughs> got his name though, that can't eat souls. Hey. Hi, girl. Hey. Just kidding. Do you have to do this? If Talk you face <laughs> tribulation that requires intervention. That is not the role we fulfill here in the House of Dust. You would need to seek the guides. Where might we find them? Perhaps it is the wrong question. How? by going to the guides. Close those doors. 
and then open them expecting to see the guides. Are you really about it? Yeah. Uh, expecting to see the Himalayan mountains. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry, is anybody getting ready to go? Um, <laughs> so you, you open the door, uh, everybody else sees hallway. You see what looks to be an ancient, forgotten, the annals of history, library. Around, uh, circling a round table is seated uh, numerous skeletons in tattered remains what looks to be scholarly and academic attire. All of them are just sitting there motionless. You guys just see him walking down the hallway. Yeah, I have a small problem. What's your problem? That scenic car we mentioned to me is expecting a forest. You know that thing about telling someone not to think about something? And then you just keep thinking about it? And you just kind of keep thinking about it. Mm, stop thinking about dick. No, sorry. You're a giant dick on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> It spits. I have uh, friends. <laughs> right, so I it's water. Robert expects his party's going to be like enclosed for a bit, so he opens the door to the library. Just like, it doesn't have to be the same place. I'm going to spend time reading the books while everyone else deals with You do see the same thing, though. Um, mostly because yeah. that, that is the library. What the hell's the best? <laughs> <laughs> the one and only one. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I appear to have lost in elasticity. Shit. Oh, you your stuff? No. They look stuck. They're not. They look fused. Shut up. Your face. I, they're not fused. It's just. Uh, do I have that in Oh, well, that's a good one. This little hole. Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> There's a hole, isn't there? I mean, Amenius. 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 <laughs> this is the only time that I'm going to call your name multiple times. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? So long as I do want to do a couple things. I want to use a library wise to find the In my religion, I create my own section. Um, and then I want to begin to copy down history books. Um, um, so normally, looking through and finding the organization of a library would be something that would take minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It takes you days. Is this a good place to train indefinitely? <laughs> oh no, I don't want to a room and a floating platform. We max out everything in our time, isn't a thing. <laughs> um, your lifespan is still a thing. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I mean, yours might be. Um, yeah. Everything you are finding is in this weird mm -hmm. language you do not speak. Uh, Every time you try, like you're looking at the symbols and you like try to read it or try to like decipher the symbols yeah. or look for patterns, you feel yourself aging. Oh, Hunty, it's a bit. So let me tell you. Oh, so read it. Is he finally going to be the old man wizard? No, don't do it. Okay. So you have majestic hair. Higher and Amenius are standing in a hallway, watching Albrecht walk through the walls, mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. You see the table with skeletons around it, in the middle of the library. Um, can I... Uh... Order read? Yes! Or? What would you like to go for? Intent? From this plane? Alive dead? Alive uh, uh, dead and from the plane? Here, here. Can okay. you do both? I don't know if that's I, I'll just add the obstacle scale here. Okay. okay. Effectively. Uh, so you want to you want to know if they're alive or dead? And from this plane? Yeah. Uh, obviously no. No. they're dead, but 
Are they un? Then. Right, I, I, know okay. you, I know what you're after. I know what you're after. Okay. <laughs> okay, so your obstacle is going to be zero with plus two dice. Oh, really? Like, like uh, you look, and this information is obvious. Oh, okay. Like, you don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a botch. Because that's a botch. Uh, so, they are <laughs> not undead. Okay. They, these are actually a spirit. And they are from this plane. Do you see them? What? Yeah, 
Dr. Albert say, I can read this one. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, it is actually about uh, magic in heaven. And how it basically why and how it works and the, basically, the fundamental fabrics of the reality of heaven that sub that sustain magic, and how uh, it talks about basically that same fabric for different realms, and how the fabrics differ. Um, when the so when he picks the book up off the shelf and starts looking at it, you actually see a book materialize. Higher does you blindfolded yourself. <laughs> I might have been sniffing his face. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. I I stop for a second. We're in a library. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not paper. Hmm. <laughs> All right. No, you so, smell dust. Well, everything smells like dust. I'm sorry, did you want me to smell you and the book course while I was at it? I mean, to be fair, books are across the trees, not there. The skull rolls back towards the table up the leg of the skeleton and back into place and you hear a thunk cheek. So I want to make a, I think it's four and a half. Let me answer a clock. Okay. Uh, I have a... You bump into a bookshelf. Writing with a calligraphy fork and a lumination fork and a copy fork. Excuse me. Uh, so copying a book, oh, okay. copying a book usually takes months, right? Yeah. It takes you minutes. You do, you do all of the work in months of copying an entire tome in minutes, experiencing the full workload. Yeah. Yeah. You start, you experience that full low bite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Uh, uh, no, you're not. Why are you taking the tag? Uh, your difficulty is two. Because uh, it's you're copying the book. Um, it is in the language you understand, and there is not a lot of uh, filigree to it. Or what is the order stuff called again? There's it's an actual word for it. Huh? Decoration. There is an actual word for it. I know, but I can't think of it. You have failed me! I know. Very over. Did you get both of your kids? Mary? Yeah. Oh, sure. Alright. Alright. Uh, wait, can we go to Vegas at least? Well, no. I'm probably going to go there for my dad. You feel a bookshelf. Sarcastic tone. So much sarcasm is just dripping. But yeah, I mean, that's fine. 